Well, the Elaine massacre of 1919 is still regarded as one of the worst incidents of racial violence in American history. Hundreds of black residents were killed. Others ran out of town, their properties stolen and sold off. While that happened more than 100 years ago, one Elaine resident says theft of property is still happening today. And she believes the thief is the city itself. I didn't want to fight with my, you know, my hometown. But it's been going on for a while. So, look like my hometown wants to fight me. Bernita Glass sits on a concrete slab in a lane where her parents' home once stood. This was where I was born and raised. And my dad and my mom, they worked hard to purchase this land. And I refuse to just let somebody take it away. Just take it? Now the lot she inherited is a park. In the beginning, I was told that they had purchased all the other lots and that I couldn't do anything with my lot. If I didn't sell it to them, it'd just be there. The city of Elaine says they bought several parcels of land to build the V Point Dexter Pfizer Park, but according to Glass, they did not buy hers. Evidently, information didn't pass on from mayor to mayor, and when he inquired, he was told, no, the city did not own all of the lots that the park was on. Bernita Glass has a lot that's in uh, that park. And the mayor asked me if I was willing to donate it. No, I'm not donating anything. I expect to be paid for my property. A 15-year battle and still no answers and no money from the city. I've learned uh, a little bit more. Unfortunately, um, the last two years coming into this administration, we've been unable to find a lot of records. <laughs> Current Elaine Mayor Lisa Hicks Gilbert says her administration can't find a deed to the land or any proof of sale of any of the properties used to make up the park. There's so much that was not done right. There's so much that was not done right. Uh, one, of the, and a, one of the biggest hurdles I have is not being able to find a deed to how they built the park. Gilbert says while her administration did not cause the property dispute from 2008, she does have a solution. The city council members voted to pay her fair market value for the property, in addition, pay her any uh, property taxes. If she has paid any property taxes over the last 20 years, I believe that's how long it's been. But after so many years, Glass wants back rent too. I'll talk with the city. Legally, where the city mm -hmm. can, 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 can sit on somebody's property mm -hmm. and then don't owe them rent for it. Mm -hmm. Because uh, on a standpoint of a human, I mean, on natural mm -hmm. people, if mm -hmm. I put something on somebody's property, I got to pay mm -hmm. rent. So far, the city's saying no to that request. Still, she has the support of her neighbors. They flipped the script. And uh, they were the ones who were fighting for their land, they would want better treatment than what they have given Miss Glass. And almost everybody has a story of stolen land. It was stolen just like this in the massacre, and it still is happening today. The fight for Benita Glass's family land, or at least the price of it, not ending any time soon. Thank you guys for being out here in this dreary, dreary weather. Thank you for staying with us. Yeah. See, that's when you know who loves you.